thumb up for the pimple. All right, dude, so I wanted to do an art review, one of those ASMR art reviews because I like those, but I've just been so fucking sick since turkey, dude. I started doing it, and I'm like, I am so just fucking tired, dude. I actually need to fill up this fucking oxygen thing, dude, because I feel like shit. If you stalk me, you know how much I've been in the hospital lately. But let's do a review on the Henry Jacques, Jacques um, Blue Vanille. Thanks to the palm tree. Thank you, palm tree, that got me this. You know, I know some people are like, they try to say you're... Your collection is fraudulent if you don't have actual bottles of everything like that. Well, the bottle I got was actually cracked, dude. So some people actually like bottle stuff. You know what I mean? I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It is cracked. See if you can see. Oh, yes, you can see. Do you see how it's cracked? Maybe it's cracked right there. Yeah, there you can see it. See? You see how it's cracked right in the middle right there. But before I, so actually before I get into this fragrance review, dude, <laughs> some people act like your collections are fraudulent, dude, unless you, 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 you buy bottles and everything. And my opinion is, dude, that, of course, thanks to Palm Tree. Little Palm Tree, my friend that got me this. That's her nickname. Little Palm Tree. Thank you, Little Palm Tree. Some people act like your collections are fraudulent unless you have bottles and everything like that, dude. And my opinion on that is, dude, <clears throat> fragrances are already pretty much a, a fairly petty hobby, right? You know, so, you, you know what I mean? I don't need a full bottle presentation. I don't mind it, of course, to enjoy the hobby. I was fine with getting decants. And, of course, as time has gone on, I've smelled so many fragrances over the years, dude. You know what I mean? It's hard to justify price-wise in the first place to even get um, little small samples and everything like that. And man, just touching the bottle, I can tell it's leaking because I can smell it all over my fingers. That sucks, but it smells good. But um, <clears throat> So it's just kind of like, dude, don't worry about people that say you need bottles and everything like that. If you're actually in the fragrances, you know what? I'm fine with just getting samples. And, and even samples starts to cost a lot of money. Do you know what I mean, dude? It's like so expensive dude it's like dude i have I, I have hard enough time even paying for my medication to live so i don't need to worry about buying bottles and all that kind of stuff so i've always been fine with buying just samples you know what i mean i'm not in a cock measuring contest for these bottles but hey i got this one now now i got the ultimate cock <laughs> anyway. blue vanille henry jacques blue vanille what do i think of this fragrance and of course there's a caveat to this because I only have about half my smell since I had COVID. It's very hit or miss. Some things I can smell, some things I can't smell, some things smell funky. Thankfully, I tend to like vanilla fragrances and... <coughs> <coughs> Thankfully, I tend to like vanilla fragrances and vanilla fragrances are some of the only thing I can smell. So I know Little Palm Tree recently gifted me all these fragrances and some of them I can't really smell whatsoever, to be honest. So it's kind of sad. But Blue Vanille, I have worn and I've tried it out. And I seemingly can smell it pretty well, thankfully. You know, I'm sure there's stuff that I'm missing. But considering what my nose is after COVID, I, I can smell this pretty well, right? So what would I, what kind of story do I think of when I think of this fragrance? And I definitely think of... <clears throat> A conversation piece when something is this much money like wow it's almost like a conversation piece because it costs so much money right like where does one wear this right you know but it's not at the end of the day honestly speaking this kind of fragrance is not for someone like me at my income level despite the fact that I do enjoy fragrances it's just this kind of fragrance isn't meant for me right as a frag comes like why the fuck why the fuck did you buy in that fuck you but the story I think of this fragrance is, imagine your friends, they invite you over. Like, oh, we're going to go party. Hey, I got a new house. Let me come over. You go to the new house. You find out, oh, this is not a house. This is a, this is a, this is a goddamn mansion. So you walk into this new mansion. You guys, uh, there's this smell of vanilla in the air. It smells good. And you go, you sit down, you're chilling with your friends. And on the table, there's a little conversation piece. And the conversation piece is your friend has these orange Jolly Ranchers. Very expensive. 
very expensive orange Jolly Ranchers, right? So you guys are, you know, continuing to talk while you have this smell of vanilla in the air and orange Jolly Ranchers as you randomly bite them, eat them, suck on them, whatever, right? And you guys finally start to smoke, have a little bit of a smoke, whatever. Smell tobacco in the air, whatever, blah, 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 blah. And you get done talking about, bullshitting, whatever you're talking about. And then your friend takes away those last golden orange Jolly Ranchers and he puts the next conversation piece. And the conversation piece is... Henry Jacques Blue Vanille. That's kind of what I thought of when I when I think of this fragrance because it, it is it seems like a quintessential pleasant smelling fragrance. It smells comfortable. It smells relaxing, but it does not ultimately evoke any crazy emotion out of me, so to speak. Right. So it's kind of like there's no crazy emotion. It is prohibitively expensive. You know what I mean? Like, where where do you wear something like this? You know what I mean? It just seems like, man, it's just kind of something like, oh, hey, me and my friends are into fragrances. You know what I mean? Or if you're the said rich person or very well-off person, you're just chilling with your other very well-off friends. You're like, hey, this is what I'm going to wear. And what I mean by that is, <clears throat> sorry. God, dude, I've been in the hospital so much, dude. Um... It smells good, but it doesn't smell fun, right? This does not, I, I don't think of this and I don't think, uh, it doesn't, I don't instantly think of something fun. Like when I, if I were to go out for the night or something like that, it's not like overly sweet or anything like that. So it's not like youthful or anything like that. I don't find it to be sexy or anything like that. I find it very casual and and maybe in that sense, maybe in that sense, the fragrance is, is doing what it maybe is intended to do. I, I would say I, I, I would say it smells luxurious. I will give it that. You know what I mean? I'll give it luxurious. I, I could see that adjective. Um, <clears throat> uh, fragrances that I might think of when I think of this. I think of something like Creed Sublime Vani, if you've ever smelled that, right? But instead of lemon... I'm thinking I'm getting this like sense of like orange, like an orange crystallized candy, almost with like a crunch, right? And uh, so I automatically see through crystal orange. You know, maybe it's that I think there's, is there geranium in this or something? Whatever it is, but I'm thinking orange, like an orange Jolly Rancher candy with the vanilla. So instead of Creed Sublime Vanille, which has that lemon, this has like an orange kind of candy. And unlike some niche fragrances, so a lot of times when you smell orange, you almost get like an orange sardine kind of old people candy or something like that. This is definitely, again, not youthful or anything like that, but it doesn't smell old. I kind of think of an orange Jolly Rancher. And <clears throat> um, unlike Creed Sublime Vanille, when you smell that, there's that almost kind of chewy almondy cherry tonka bean kind of smell to it like a chewy kind of thing like that i don't get that kind of chewy facet from this you you do smell the tobacco and what i think of when i think of the tobacco in this i think of the tobacco and fragrances like tea for two if you've ever smelled tea for two and what i mean by that is it doesn't necessarily smell sensual or sexual, sexy, sexual, I guess it could be sexual. It doesn't necessarily smell sexy or sensual or even yummy. Like sometimes when you mix together tobacco notes, you know what I mean? It almost smells like yummy, sexy kind of thing. Although tea for two, I guess it does have a potential kind of thing with the honey and everything in it. But hopefully, maybe if you've smelled enough fragrances, you know what I'm getting at. Tea for two has almost kind of like a straight up kind of cigarette almost smell to it. Not Not bad. But more of a kind of straight up, almost like a cigarette tobacco kind of ash almost. This has that kind of, I think of that tobacco kind of vibe when I smell this. A little bit of that in there. Again, with the vanilla and the orange, you know what I mean? Maybe there's some like orange little Jolly Rancher specks on the tobacco when you're rolling it up. But ultimately you smell a lot of vanilla. I don't necessarily think of this as a vanilla tobacco fragrance. I mean, but again, my smell is, you know, only half of what it is. I definitely think of this more as more vanilla than tobacco. But, um, <clears throat> and I also think of tea for two, because when I think of tea for two, T 
Tea for Two is another fragrance where I think of that like not something that I would wear if I was going out, let's say maybe meeting a girl for the first time or something like that. It doesn't smell fun. It doesn't smell sexual. It doesn't smell youthful. It, tea for Two, when I think of that, I think of something that I would just wear for myself or if I was wearing when I was with friends or something like that. It just smells relaxing, comfortable, chill out kind of fragrance. And in that sense, again, that's the kind of vibe when I think of this. But again, it's just so expensive. You know what I mean? I would say this is less harsh. This this isn't harsh. Like T for two, I think the tobacco cigarette ash kind of vibe and that can probably be potentially harsh to people. But I don't get that kind of vibe from this. But again, from in some kind of certain perspective, instantly the tobacco in this reminds me of a sort of tobacco in a T for two, which I, which maybe is insulting to the perfumers. Like, what the fuck? This is a thousand dollars. That's one hundred fifty dollars. Fuck you. Fuck this American idiot. Fuck this American idiot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so, a anyway, um, would I wear it? Yes, I would wear it. I think it smells good. Of course, thanks to Palm Tree. I do think it, it smells luxurious. Again, it just smells so kind of uh, casual and relaxing to me. So I guess, you know, maybe that's, that is what the, what the, the purpose is for. But when I think of, you know, someone, excuse me, in my price range, what I do in life, so to speak, when I go to hang out with friends, this doesn't strike me as something that I would wear to go meet people maybe for the first time or a girl, you know, if I was hanging out with guys or something, maybe or some shit like that, right? Um, like say today I wore uh, uh, Dior's Vanilla, Vanilla Diorama or whatever like that, right? Like this feels a little bit more potentially fun and potentially, I don't know if it smells sexy, but, but it smells a little bit more fun, right? You know, what I mean? a, a potentially a little bit more flirty, a little bit more yummy. It's a little bit more gourmand, which is more my vibe. I, I did get stopped actually today as well and I got asked what I was wearing and a girl told me she liked it actually. So if you're curious if I've ever gotten a compliment on this, I actually just got a compliment on it today when I was out. So, <clears throat> Henry Jacques, Blue Vanny. I got, I, I mean, of course, I, I will probably eventually wear this out and I'll probably ask girls what they think in real life. You know what I mean? Just because, I mean, morbid curiosity. <laughs> Is that the correct term? You know what I mean? I know Palm Tree likes it. You know what I mean? I, I would assume, I, I would assume most people, you know what I mean, probably can't appreciate it. I don't think I can appreciate it. Someone I've been into fragrances for so many years now. I probably cannot appreciate everything about this fragrance, right? I'm just a dude that likes fragrances. And I tend to like vanilla fragrances. So I think it smells good. I tend to like tobacco fragrances. So I think it smells good, right? It doesn't... I'm not like, boom, popping a boner for it or anything like that. But I can see it smells good. You know what I mean? Of course, there could be facets that I'm I'm missing. You know what I mean? Again, my smell is only half of what it used to be. Um, so take that, you know, for what it's worth. But seemingly, I can smell it pretty well. And, and I can also say, despite my, you know, sense of smell being what it is now, um, it seemingly projects and has pretty good performance because I didn't put too much on and I was smelling it throughout the day. And if anything, at first I was like, whoa, this is, I'm surprised how strong it is, especially with my nose. So I'm like, wow, this is probably double of what I smell. You know what I mean? Right now, considering what, how my smell is right now. So anyway, um, yeah, there's my review of Blue Vanille. Is that the thumbnail? I don't know, dude. Anyway, uh, remember if you like the videos, like, subscribe, the comment, share, support the channel if you want. I appreciate it. Thanks. Um, like I said, I was uh, thinking about doing an art review, but I've just been so tired, dude. So I just I started to make the the pictures for it, and I'm like, I'm tired. I'm tired. You know that meme? That meme? How you feeling? I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm fucking tired, dude. I've been sick for a month and a half since fucking Turkey. Dude, I gotta fucking do a review. I, I, I cannot believe. I, I guess I'm actually, unfortunately, I can believe how, how sick I've been since Turkey, but, you know, just. <coughs>
<clears throat> cough was coming out right there, actually. Just uh, goes to show you, dude. You know, travel while you can. Do stuff while you can because, man, you, you do not want to, you know, oh, my God. I, I cannot believe my, my health this past month and a half, but or I can, like I said. But anyway, right, if you like the videos, like, sub, so the comment, share, support the channel if you want. I appreciate it. Um, I might do a review on one of the other ones, but, again, my smell is a little iffy, so I don't know. Anyway, take this review with a grain of salt. Thank you, the end.